to here? This is Spencer. He's eight years old. Spencer? He's a rescue cocker spaniel. This is Magnus, uh, and uh, my name's Austin. And what do you do at IC? I'm uh, the database administrator at Vimeo. Okay. And um, how how old is is Austin? You said right? Oh no, this he's is Magnus. Magnus. You're Austin. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm uh, Aaron Walshinsky. I work here at uh, actually at MindSpark, but I've worked at IC for nine years now. This is Henry. He's um, about nine years old, Cocker Spaniel, he's a rescue. Can you introduce yourself and, and your friend here? Sure, I'm John Pierce and this is Butchetta. Uh, she goes by Butch. What kind of dog uh, is she? She's a Great Dane puppy. Um, can, you, can you tell us who we're, who we're talking sure, to Sure, this here? is Baker. Hey Baker. Um, what kind of dog is Baker? He's uh, half Beagle, half Pekingese. Is this actually also Magnus on your t-shirt? No, just it's just a miscellaneous yellow lab. Drool is the major workplace hazard with these dogs, um, basically. Farts. Farts, okay. Yeah. Can you tell us your name? And, Christine uh, Kaufman. Christine Kaufman. What do you do at ISC? I sell advertising for Newsweek and Daily Beast. And um, who, are we, who are we talking to down here? This is Olive. Hi, Olive. <laughs> Hi, Olive is up like. Is he at his peak cuteness now, or was he even cuter before this? Uh, uh, well, I mean, I guess I have to say he's at his peak cuteness now. Oh, but if he wasn't oh. here hearing this, I'd say he was cuter right, before. Does he always wear a Vimeo t-shirt? We have a range of Vimeo t-shirts. We actually wear the same size. <laughs> who, who are we? Uh, uh, this is Murdoch. He goes Murdoch? by Murdoch. He goes by Doc to his friends. Okay. He's named after the A-team member. Oh, wow. And this is Daisy. Why did you name Doc after Murdoch? Because he's I mean, my all... favorite character on the A team when really? I was a Not kid. Really? Not or B.A. Murdoch? No. Is yeah. So no one noticed him on the subway this morning. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this is Winston Mobley. I'm Mike Mobley. Um, wow, Winston has really got some drool going there. Yeah, he uh, when he gets excited, he drools. The, the, the breed tends to do that. Um, but they're very distinguished young gentlemen. Are you going to get any work done today, or is today just about uh, hanging with dogs? Um, are you going to show this to my boss? No, I think not. Oh my gosh. Our workforce is uh, young and, and predominantly single. Um, and so in a place like New York, you know, people have dogs. Tama, come here, girl. <laughs> yeah, see, she, 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 she likes to go person to person. Um, and, uh, and so people's dogs sort of, you know, the, the dogs they have and, and the... Uh, and the relationship they have with them can say something about them. And I think the, the, the bigger thing is we told people not to bring in dogs if the dogs couldn't comport themselves well. So I think what I was saying at the time was, you know, we'll know the guy who brings in the dog that's like running around knocking everything over, that will be, that will be telling. So your dog could actually hurt your standing at work today. If, I, you're, if you're, your dog reflects poorly on you, you're done, is what you're I, saying. I would say that, that if, if you bring in the dog um, that causes problems, it, it, I guess, theoretically reflects on your judgment. But I think it would have to be, uh, I mean, it's mostly tongue in cheek. It would have to be quite the catastrophe in order for it to really matter. There, there was just some uh, study out this week about dogs and uh, dog friendly workplaces having happier workforces. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that study, but I think it, it's bringing in your dog is great for a couple of reasons. One, at least if you're like single in New York, like I am and like many other people, there's a guilt factor every morning when you leave your dog at home alone. Like when I was in Dallas and I'd leave Thelma with people, like there was a nanny around and kids and she'd have a great time like hanging around. But, but here, most dogs sort of sit in their apartment until the dog walker comes. So I think it's nice, you feel good if you can bring in your dog and spend more time with them. Um, I also think there's a little bit of uh, pride, like you want to show off your dog and you want your workers to meet your dog the way you want workers to, to know things about you. And, uh, and I think just dogs running around make people happy. Not everybody. I mean, there are a few dog haters out there, but, um, you know, mostly you see a dog running around smiling and panting and people are happy about it. It feels just more relaxed.